Hi friends. So today I'm going to do a quick video that uses up all of my scraps. Now, I just have this weird ha habit of my cutting space is here, my ironing space is here. So I cut out my stuff and then I just smoosh all of my fabric near my ironing board. So what I'm going to do is go through all of this fabric find some prints and patterns that I like. Most of these will be from all my past projects within the last year or so, so you'll probably recognize a bunch of these fabrics. And I'm going to show you how to sew them up into a patchwork block. Well, this is how I do it. This is, everyone has their own way of doing it, and that's cool. This is how I do it. I'm not a perfectionist. I look more for Clashing patterns, clashing colours, contrasting colours, harmonious colours, you know, all that sort of art nerdy stuff. Here is my scrap pile. So to get my blocks straight, I used my rotary cutter and this square block ruler thingy. I was given it by my nanny or auntie, so I don't really know what it's for, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a tool that I'm half correctly using. <laughs> I cut whatever size square or rectangle shape that I can get out of the piece of scrap fabric and I try to use it all up as best I can. I collect any tiny fabric scraps that I can in another pile and I'll put them in a bag and use them for stuff like stuffing for toys, kids collages or whatever I can think of just to try to reduce my environmental footprint. Cutting takes a fair while, so chuck on your favourite podcast and let yourself get in the zone. Once you have cut your fabric down into as little as possible, now it's time to begin building the block. So this part is like building a puzzle. I move shapes around to get them to fit and make sure I like the colors working together and mix up different fabric textures. It's just kind of having a play until you find something that works. And here is what I've got so far. Sewing them together is also like building a puzzle. I usually sew them together like this in smaller blocks first and then I sew those blocks together to build a larger piece. Overlock it if you like just to keep the insides nice and secure as well. And don't forget to constantly iron your pieces while you're patchworking. Next I'm going to grab each small block and using a ruler or this block edge thingy, um, tidy up any edges that might be overhanging, square all the pieces up ready to be sewn into one big piece. Once I've done that, I square up and cut the edges of the block as well. In the end I decided to add some more around the edges just to make the block a little bit bigger. So now it looks something like this. From these blocks, I've made dresses, um, all kinds of clothes. You could make toys, um, clutches, bags, essentially anything that you can think of. So you'd basically treat this as if it was your fabric and you'd lay your pattern pieces down and cut it out. Obviously you need to be careful about where the seams are because if you cut on certain parts, it might start to unravel. So you probably got to sew it up pretty fast. It's not something I would leave hanging around because it will come undone. This is a really great way to use up all your scraps. And you could go by color schemes and do cool theme or warm or certain fabric or certain prints by a certain designer. There's heaps of things. Or like you could do all animals or all, you know, Use your imagination. So from here, I'm gonna turn this into a cute little cushion for the lounge room. So let's do it. 
So this is an envelope cushion cover that I made last year. I'm going to copy it, but without the frilly part around the edge. So I'm going to quickly lay it flat and measure it to double check that the block is the right size. This is my front piece for the cushion cover and I'm going to lay the back piece over it. I'm just checking that I've got enough of an overlap to make the envelope close properly. So next I'm going to fold the back piece in half, mark it at the center and then add a couple centimeters to one side so that one rectangle is slightly bigger than the other. Take your two back pieces over to the overlocker and overlock the seam and then fold over twice and sew down your side. So lay your front piece down, put the two back rectangles right sides together, pin and sew around all four edges. Flip your cushion right way out. So for the closures, you could add buttons or Velcro or press studs, but I'm just leaving it as is. Here is my $3 Kmart cushion. And I use this as an insert because why not? It's $3. Put it in the cushion cover and we're done.